Hi, this is Kathy Quinn with Floriani. Floriani is the division of RK Distributing, and I want to welcome you to this week's Project of the Week. I'm going to talk about the Font Importer. I have already done one lesson on Font Importer, but I want to dig a little deeper into what the Font Importer does. We've all bought designs that are in the shape of a letter. We've bought font design cards. They're either in a PEZ format, an EXP format, a VIP format. Uh, you know, it's in one of our machine formats. That is what this program, what this feature will allow you to import into your text li uh, library so that when you want to type in the font, it will act like a font instead of a design in the shape of an A. But remember, it has to be a design that you have purchased that has a machine format. So I'm going to go ahead and left mouse click on Font Importer. Now the first thing I need to do is I'm going to tell it I'm going to do a new font and I'm going to name this one Silly. Okay. Now I'm going to put the author and I what I do with this unless I created it myself I'm going to go to and say this is from XYZ embroidery and the reason I'm putting that in is because if I really like how these fonts are and they do real good fonts and I love them I want to remember where I purchased it from so when I need to go buy some other font that I know the ones that I liked that they were a good quality uh, digitizer now that I've got that done I need to go see where that is now I keep these I made a folder called purchase fonts and anytime I purchase a font I drop it in there so that when I want to find it, it find it it's very easy to do so so I'm gonna pick my silly and say okay now silly's gonna come in and now here it is now what I want to do is I want to take the design fonts I have over here and I want to put them in my font mapping over here so it will turn it into a font that I can use with my keyboard lettering. Well, notice up here I have an A through Z, upper, lower case, I have upper and lower case, and I have 0 through 9. Now I'm going to do upper, lower, and 0 through 9 because that's the way they're set up on this design card. Some design cards are set up where I've got a, then the little a, then the, ca the uppercase, lowercase. But this isn't set up that way, so I'm good. I'm going to go ahead and say I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to grab the A. I'm going to scroll down since they're in perfect order, hold my shift key, and touch the Z. So now I have selected all of them. Now that they're there, I'm going to do uppercase. Yes, M's my reference letter, that's fine with me. Now up here, while we're waiting, it says spacing. That is the spacing between the letters, spacing between words, and the height. Well, I went with custom height because I bought this font to be an inch and a half tall for a reason. So I'm going to stay with that. Remember, I'm going to be able to resize it within the software, of course, but I'm going to bring it in at the custom size that I bought it at. Now that I'm here, I'm going to come on down, and I'm going to grab that lowercase a, scroll down holding my shift key that lowercase z now come over to this side and I'm gonna click on the little a and tell it come on over so now it's going to bring this over as well just takes a second because remember it's reformatting it to be a font and not a design in the shape of an a now I'm going to do my numbers. So I'm going to come down. There's where my numbers start. Zero. So I'm going to grab my zero. Holding down my shift key, I'm going to come down and select zero through nine. Again, I'm going to say go on zero through nine and come on in. So there I have those. Now when we come to the symbols, it's not as clear cut because they're not in a specific order so I'm gonna to have to move them one at a time which is very easy I'm gonna grab the money symbol drag it to the money I'm gonna come over here and there's my exclamation point I'm gonna drag it to my exclamation point 
I'm going to come down here and look at uh, my AND symbol. I drag that into my AND symbol. Uh, here is my comma. Let's come on down and find our comma. There's my comma. So you see, you see how easy this is to do. You're just going down and you're just dragging and dropping where things belong. Here's my parentheses. There's my right. And fortunately, they named them for us. There's my left. So if you can't recognize a symbol on here because maybe it's digitized in a, you know, a strange font or something, you can actually read. This says symbol left parenthesis, hyphen symbol. So you get the idea. So I'm going to bring in my hyphen. I'm going to bring in my equals. So I can just go down and bring in everything I need. There's my here we go, and I, you know what? I put the hyphen in the minus. So I'm going to say, oops, I made a mistake. So I can just delete that. So see, that's how you're going to start editing things. Here's where my hyphen goes. It goes down here at the bottom. So there we go. So there's my hyphen. There we go. So you get the idea what we're doing. Now I'm going to go ahead and say this is, all. I'm going to have pulled everything in, and I'm going to say save it. Now, I didn't do any adjusting or editing because I want to come back to this for you and show you what I'm talking about. Oh, dang. oh excuse me. I apologize for that little interruption there. My uh, phone went off and it's, of course, hooked to my computer. There we go. All right. So what we're doing here now is we have saved that. So now we are going to go to our text, left mouse click on screen, and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to go down and find silly. Now it will have come in in alphabetical order. So there's silly. Now I'm going to type in just a few letters here. I'm going to type in an A. Then I'm going to put a J, a G, an F, a P, a Q, maybe that number symbol, uh, letter B, just, just a few things. Now I'm going to apply that. Now when they come in, you're going to see what I'm talking about as in, as in adjusting. Because what we've got here is notice all the bottoms. Well, I certainly don't want my lowercase G, F, P, Q. I don't want them on the same line, the same baseline, as my letter A. You can see it just looks weird. So we need to come in and adjust that. Let me zoom out for you so you can see it all. Well, I would if I could. There we go. Now you can see what I'm talking about. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right back into my font importer. Now I'm going to select the font called Silly. So it will come back in. It will populate back in. And my uppercase letters are fine. And this way, you can come back and forth. If you find something that's off, you can come back and fix it however you want. Now I'm going to come down here, and the first thing we noticed is our, let's go with the G first. I can see that I, you see this blue line that comes up? It's telling you that's the baseline. Well, I know on that G, I need that down. Okay, so I know on this J, I'm going to need that baseline down. It didn't, it didn't look right. And you also have this if you want to nudge it up or down. If you need to kind of nudge, you can do that too. Or you can just, you know, move it with your drag and drop. There we go. Now I'm going to come down. We didn't like our P. So I'm just going to grab it and move it down. Move it down a little more. Same with the Q. So you see that if you've got a letter, oh here the Y is going to look tacky. I can just go ahead and bring that down because this is my baseline. 
so I can see if a letter looks off. Now normally I would have looked through this prior to going up there and saving everything, but sometimes we miss a character. Or, as when I first showed you on the first video, we didn't go into depth on how to do this. So now I've got all that done and I'm going to say it's all fixed so now I'm going to save it again I'm going to close that we're going to go back here to our text tool we're going to click back on screen and I've got the same alphabet up so I'm going to type in A J G F P Q number symbol and I'm going to type in a capital B. Okay, now let's apply that. So you'll see when this comes in that now that I have adjusted everything, see it comes in correctly on the baseline like we wanted it to. So as you can see, it's very easy to go ahead and adjust letters above or below the line however you need to because that baseline represents this baseline. Now the one other thing I want to show you in here, let's go back to our porter. Let's just say, you know what, I, I put this, uh, let me see, I put in Kathy's Wiggles and I really didn't like it and it's just taking up space in my list that I have to pass I, I'm not as fond of that font it looked better on the package than it did in real life so I can bring in something I already have and actually I really do like it but now see and here's a good good example see this in I would want to drag this in down because that curly cue needs to go below the line but I'm gonna pretend I just hate the font so I'm gonna go to edit fonts Oh, I, I, uh, okay, now notice I have a list and it says, do I want to rename? No, I just want to remove Kathy's Wiggles from my list. I'm going to delete the whole alphabet. I'm going to come in here and delete another one just to, just to show you. So we're going to remove this one. Yep. I'm going to grab, grab this one, remove it. So I can add, remove, rename. Maybe I wanted to rename this one, you know, Kaylee, a favorite. You know, I could, I could highlight one that I really like and give it a special name. Or if I wanted it at the top of the list, I could put A Kaylee. So you get the idea. So we're going to close this. And I hope you enjoyed today's lesson on the font importer. Get out there and start moving those fonts. It's so simple, so easy, and it's so great to have them as a keyboard font at your fingertips. Look forward to seeing you next week.